Frankie de Jong could join Manchester United as early as May as Murta, Ten Hag and his new assistants have a secret meeting discussing Manchester United's transfer plans. Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and welcome back to another Manchester United news and transfer news update video and we're going to be talking about their big meeting going on with John Murta, Eric Ten Hag, Mitchell van der Gaag and Steve McLaren today and also talking about a meeting between Murta, Arnold and Ten Hag last Thursday. What's gone on those, in those meetings? What have they spoken about? What's come out? And all of that. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe if you're new. And yes, uh, James Ducker of The Telegraph reported that Ten Hag would like Frankie de Jong to join Manchester United. He'd like him to be part of his new midfield rebuild. Uh, James Ducker also said that Murta caught an early flight to Amsterdam last Thursday to meet with Ten Hag and run through their latest transfer plans in detail before flying back to London later that afternoon. And we know that murta has gone out again today to Amsterdam to have a meeting with not just Ten Hag, but Mitchell van der Gaard and Steve McLaren. So Ten Hag wins the area divisi, doesn't take a day off the next day, boom, meeting. He is straight to work, he is my manager. And before I get into what else has been said, the fact that they had a meeting last week to discuss transfers fills me with positivity that United are going to act quick this transfer uh, window. Get deals done quick. It's a new board, it's a new structure, and being a new board and a new structure, hopefully for the first time in years, we're not going to take ages to get deals done. Hopefully we're not going to mess around. It's been confirmed that Frankie de Jong had been discussed at the meeting last week and at the meeting this week between the likes of Ten Hag and obviously Murta. And we know that Ten Hag was actually the person that called the meeting today and he'd actually got his coaches alongside him. It's been reported from Laurie Whitwell. Now, Laurie Whitwell's a very, very reliable journalist, works for The Athletic, gets inside information from the club, work, works for the same place of, as David Ornstein, who we know is really reliable. And Laurie Whitwell had said, in today's meeting, it was to discuss a strategy going forward with obviously pre-season preparations well underway, a squad makeup, signing a midfielder is a priority in capitals. Laurie Whitwell knows, Laurie Whitwell knows. With United waiting up an approach for Frankie de Jong, so the, one of the best transfer uh, journalists out there is literally sort of hinting, yeah, they talked about midfielders, yeah, they talked about de Jong, yeah, they're interested in de Jong. He's also said that we've talked about pre-season with the dates recently coming out, planning and all of that. And that links in with a report that came out yesterday saying that Eric Ten Hag actually wants Manchester United to return early and have pre-season start two weeks early so they can work on fitness. We know Eric Ten Hag's a fantastic manager. He's a very hard-working manager. Man has won the area division. He's calling meetings. He is literally doing everything at Ajax, winning the area division, and then he's calling United whenever he gets a spare moment to sort out transfers, sort out this rebuild. Like Ten Hag is the perfect guy for this rebuild. He's focused. He wants to fix United. He's determined. If the board give Ten Hag what he wants, I'm sure he'll be a success. He's thinking about incomings, outcomings, meetings, organisation with the board. Every spare minute he has, and obviously talking about the fitness of United and obviously Ten Hag's got eyes and Sin Midfield as a priority like Ragnar suggested. Laurie Whitwell said that Steve McLaren also took uh, part in the meeting uh, which was planned and held by Eric Ten Hag and John Murta earlier today and Mitchell van der Gaard also took part in discussions as well um, as potential incomings and outgoings that Man United were discussed. So Laurie Whitwell confirms the meeting today between Mitchell van der Gaard, um, I was about to say Laurie Whitwell, Ten Hag, Steve McLaren, and of course, John Murta was actually discussing ingoings and outgoings. And to have a meeting now, to call a meeting quite last minute, have a meeting now about ingoings and outgoings today, just after 10 hours on the area divisi with the De Jong news coming out last night, it suggests that, you know, that, you know, this, this meeting is quick. They didn't need to have this meeting until next week, surely, when, when, when I actually played the last game, but they had it today. And maybe that's because they've got a deadline till June 1st to sign Frankie de Jong because Barcelona need to raise funds by June 1st to help their financial issues. So maybe it's like, oh my God, we've got two weeks to sign a pair. Let's have a meeting. Let's discuss and all of that. And Laura Whitwell on de Jong again has said, uh, on de Jong, he said, what can we say? United are certainly interested in Frankie de Jong. I would keep an eye out. It's a debatable one. There's conflicting reports over whether the player himself would be interested but what Laurie Whitwell is basically saying regarding De Jong to United is United want De Jong, United are interested in signing De Jong. Barcelona will probably let him go because of financial issues. He didn't actually say that, but we do know that. But Laurie Whitwell is basically saying there's a lot of reports, but it really depends on 
Frankie De Jong. If Frankie De Jong doesn't want to come, he won't come. It really depends on if De Jong wants to come or not. Now, it's also been reported out of Spain that Xavi Hernandez has approved De Jong's move to Manchester United, given Barcelona the green light. But Barcelona must complete the deal before June 1st due to their financial situation. So if United are going to get De Jong, it's going to be before June 1st. Um, which hopefully happens. I hope we get De Jong, but I think the decision is down to De Jong. But if De Jong knows he's not wanted by Barcelona, you know, they've got Gavi, they've got Pedri, Xavi's trying to push him out. Well, hopefully that gives Manchester United an opportunity to be like, boom, let's go and get De Jong. And I think if we haven't signed De Jong by June 1st, I don't think he will come. Uh, he will stay at Barcelona, but it's obvious United want him. It's obvious Ten Hag want him. They're calling meetings for him. And I've always said, if United can go and get this, De Jong deal done now, that's your pub replacement sorted. Then you get a cheap CDM to replace Matic because we do need another midfield on top of De Jong. He's not going to solve our issues. Then you go for striker, then you go for centre-back. And De Jong is a fantastic player. He turned 25 today. He's a box-to-box. -box. He can play defensively. He's been one of Barcelona's best players in recent years. He's got a good connection with Ten Hag. You know, De Jong would be a brilliant signing. I'd love De Jong at United. And if the ball can get this done, it makes a statement. It makes a statement that, yeah, Man United can still get big deals done. Man United can still sign big players despite not being in the Champions League. I don't think we're really going to make any big statement signs. I think, you know, we might sign De Jong and I think the rest of the names will be players that Man United will be a step up in their career. They'd be young players that haven't gone to a big club yet. I think that's the long-term direction United will go. But you never know. And the last report's come out from... Graham Bailey, and obviously we know Ten Hag said he'd only join Manchester United if he was given powers over transfer, recruitment, developing the youth, and he was allowed to bring in his coaches, which is brilliant because, you know, for the first time in the Man United rebuild, they promised the manager power in who we buy, sell, who we give new contracts to, but also he can bring in all his coaches. And Graham Bailey has said that Ten Hag pushed hard to confirm his preferred coaching circle. It's understood that Murta has given his personal guarantee to Ten Hag that McLaren can join the club. We know that Ten Hag obviously got Mitchell van der Gaag in. He was pushing for McLaren. We know the Manchester United board were actually saying, well, do you want to work with our current coaches? And Ten Hag was like, fuck off. We didn't actually say that, but he was like, no, I want McLaren. And the fact that the board are letting Ten Hag bring his coaches in are better because the coaches at United are currently crap when we need to get rid and McLaren, I think, will replace Phelan, which, which is 100% needed. Uh, Graham Bailey said there may also be room for Tenard to add one of his preferred scouts to the Man United backroom staff, which would be absolutely brilliant because we sat two scouts, so I think there definitely is room, and I think we do need a scouting change. And if you look at Ajax's scouting recently, it's been good. And Graham Bailey also said Tenard is set to hold talks with every member of the United squad within the next few weeks. He is set to have full approval on which of the contracted players stay and go if buyers can be found. So he's saying that Tenor is going to contact United squad, hold meetings with them, and then Tenor is going to go to United and say, I want him to go, I want him to go. And he's, apparently Tenor, he's saying, is going to give, be given full power over who we buy, who we sell, if deals can be found. And hopefully a lot of players will be out the door at Manchester United. I think Tenor, if he's watched us play recently, which I know he has, I think there'll be a lot of players out. And apparently, you know, with what Ragnick's been saying to Murta, with how poor United are, it actually came out two weeks ago that uh, Murta and Arnold aren't going to get in the way of Ten Hag selling players. If they don't fit Ten Hag's philosophy, they can go. You know how United don't like to sell certain players. It's been reported if players don't fit Ten Hag's philosophy, they can go. Ten Hag's not the type of manager to change his football to you. When Ten Hag was interviewed about managing big names, big players, he goes, if they don't like it, they can go. I'm not going to change for them, which I think is definitely needed in the Manchester United dressing room. So exciting times ahead for Ten Hag, for Manchester United, and hopefully Frankie Dion can join. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Please make sure you hit that like button. Of course, subscribe down below if you're new, share the video and all of that. See you next time, uh, live tomorrow night. There should be a video out tomorrow morning as well of how Dion will improve the midfield if I get around to it. So yeah, 